What's going on guys, it's Brandon back here again for another BFR. Today we have Game 76 versus the Calgary Flames. It was played on April 18th at 7pm. It was one of two full games I watched yesterday. One being this the Chicago-Calgary game, the other being the Colorado-Washington game that was on NHL Network, so I also watched that one last night. Um, the other games I saw parts of were the Vancouver-Dallas and uh, the New Jersey-Vegas game, all pretty big games in the Western Conference. But, yeah, I watched parts of those, and I watched a lot of hockey last night. Uh, Calgary wins 5-2, 3-2 with two empty netters. Hawks go to 25-40-11. First time I've seen 40 losses for them in well since I've started watching hockey. Um, Zahan and Caleb Jones were in. Gustafson and Stillman were out. Shots were 35-20 to uh, for Calgary. Hits were 24 to Actually, 29 to 29, they were pretty even. And faceoffs were 31 to 27 in favor of Chicago. Uh, and on the power play, Chicago is 0 for 2, Calgary 0 for 3. Lincoln and saves 30 out of 33, and Markstrom saves 22 out of 24. Um, the bottom six, there, there were some line, uh, line mix ups in the bottom six, putting like uh, Radish on the fourth line with Lafferty and uh, Reichel, and just trying to do some new line combinations on the bottom six. And in the first, it's early, it's 22 seconds in, where a fantastic deflection by uh, Dylan Dubé at 1938. It's a Calgary goal, a deflection uh, goal from Dylan Dubé, 14th of the year, from Coleman and Hannafin to make it 1-0. Then, Gabranson has a good hit on, on uh, Reese Johnson. Uh, Hawks have no shots 7 minutes in, and then at 13:37, it's a Calgary snipe goal from Johnny Gaudreau. It's a 600th point, 37th goal of the year from Zadorov and Kachuk. Zadorov, the former Hawk. Uh, Kachuk nearly deflects one. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, whistle hit hard into boards. He went to the locker room immediately. Taze was denied. Then at 12.54, it's a Chicago goal from Tyler Johnson. It's a um, it's a great pass by... Uh, not pass. It's a great fake by Kubelik. Taze passes it. To, it looks like it's going to Kubelik. Kubelik purposely misses. At least you think it is. And then Tyler Johnson's right there. Snipes it right by... Uh, Markstrom, that's got to feel good for him after being injured for so long and not being really able to contribute that much to this team. He's got now four points on the year. He's not played that many games. So hopefully this will get him running at the last part of the year, second of the season for him. Um, so yeah, it's from Taze and Kubelik. Uh, then uh, at 11.33, it's a Calgary penalty to Coleman for holding, which would be killed. Lincoln and Robs Goudreau. Uh, Hawks pressure. Chuck does a good defensive play. Uh, and then Zadorov levels Taze, which at 7.48 leads to Chicago and Calgary uh, coincidental penalties. Uh, one is served by Strom. Even if it's McCabe who gets the penalty, and then Zadorov does the other one. And they both get for roughing. And then Chicago gets the extra penalty. It's McCabe for roughing. And it's a stupid call because he's defending his teammate, but it's killed. And then Lewis just misses. Uh, Taze hit in the face off in the face by Yarncroak. There's blood. There's no call. Um, he leaves temporarily to go get stitched up. Uh, Gabranson goes and goes into the goal and Mark and Markstrom and they were both fine luckily. Uh, then at 5:19, it's a Calgary a deflection goal once again from Blake Coleman, 16th of the year from Shillington to make it 3-1. And then at a um, at one minute, it's a Calgary penalty to Majapani for tripping, which would be killed. And the Hawks start on the power play in the second. Uh, Jones is hit hard off the off the back of Markstrom. Uh, uh, Jones is hit hard. Uh, then at 14.50, it's a Chicago penalty to Kane for hooking, which would be killed. Um, great passing Calgary, uh, but they can't finish it. Uh, it's Lindholm. He's like, Lindholm had a wide open net, then he couldn't finish it. And then at 7.06, it's a Chicago goal. His first in his career, and the first of the season from Alec Regula, from it and McCabe, to make it 3-2. And it was uh, it was off the back of Markstrom. It wasn't a good goal. It wasn't a good goal by him, but a goal is a goal, so you take what you can get. Uh, Vlasic then saves a goal. Taze uh, is robbed. Did break it? Stopped. And we go to the third, where a three-on-one shorthanded uh, sh his chance is denied. As at 7:55, it's 17:55. Chicago penalty to Caleb Jones for hooking, which would be killed. Then the three-on-one happened, and then Calgary hand passes the puck, and the refs put the face off outside the outside the zone, and I'm not sure why. The announcers didn't know why either, and I was really confused because Calgary was the one that did it, but. Uh, Kane is slashed by Toffoli. There's no call. Uh, Lafferty to McCabe to Reese Johnson is stopped. Excuse me. Uh, Coleman has a big hit on Caleb Jones. Uh, then at Hawks pull goalie at 150, and then at 132 it's a Calgary OP net goal from Johnny Gaudreau, 38th of the year from Kachuk. Uh, from Kachuk. 
uh, it makes it 4-2. A Lincoln in the mid gets as a sprawling sp save. And then they pull the goalie again. And at 107, it's a Calgary empty net goal from Oliver Shillington, his ninth of the season from Markstrom. So Markstrom gets his, an assist to make it 5-2. And yeah, there's not many events that happened last night um, in terms of the playoff race. Um, it got pretty heated up as Dallas would lose to Vancouver, who's now within one point of Vegas, four points of L.A., and they have a game in hand on L.A. Uh, Vegas, big loss to New Jersey yesterday, and that kind of puts them in a, an interesting position. As now, really, it's not, it's not really a matter of if they'll catch Dallas. It's a matter of if they'll catch L.A. Because Dallas and Nashville just seem so far out of reach right now. So I think it's either going to be Vegas, Vancouver, or L.A. that gets that final playoff spot in the Pacific. Nashville and Dallas have probably got those last two spots secured in the... Uh, in the central in, in the central division and in, in the because the central's always got two extras. At this point, I think it's fair to say by next next game or two, we'll have Winnipeg out of the race. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have for you guys today. Um, I uh, there's going to be a lot of videos coming up soon near the end of the season. My hair's not really looking good right there. Uh, there's yeah, there's not going to be a, a lot of there's going to be a lot of videos coming out near the end of the season. They got the review of the season. We're going to be uh, Games that get the uh, real, what their real record should have been if everything had gone according to plan. Obviously, the fake world, but I think it's fun to look back on what they could have been. Um, and they also will also look back on. Um, we'll do we're going to be playing doing playoff reviews uh, of before the series uh, previews. Uh, we'll be doing uh, all sorts of videos, uh, predictions, of course, and we'll doing I re re look at the predictions I made at the start of the year for the all the divisions. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Last power rankings will also be coming out uh, uh, once the season is over on May first. I'll probably make the video on May second because there's one more game uh, after. Uh, that, that's that's uh, that's on May first, and of course the last games are on April 29th. So unless that game gets moved up, uh, I don't. I think I'll probably just wait off and I'll just make it the April power rankings. But yeah, that'll be it's gonna, it's gonna be a pretty busy time coming up near the end of. April, start of May. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye.